Well, we got to do some check the fluid on the three-point auger. Check the gear oil in here. This thing's got a little bit of a seal leak. You can see that. Oh, there we got some. Oh, yeah. Plenty good. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, ring my bell, get my notifications, throw me a thumbs up and leave a question or comment below so that way I know who you are. Alright, we're on the road to go get some hay from Mr. John Stevens. I gotta stop at the hardware store so I left a little bit early. And pick up a couple things there. We'll catch back up with you here in a little bit. Well, we got John's loading me with some hay bales here. There's what? He's got eight more, nine more down there. We gotta cut a little, little plastic wrap here. We'll uh, tuck her inside. These are big, heavy bales. That's all right. We'll uh, take her slow going home. Cows are gonna love these things. Oh my god, they smell good. Woof da! Well, John's gotta give me a push because it feels a little too greasy for me to get going. Hopefully we can make her. We're making her. We're cutting. We're cutting in hard, but we're making her. I think John's pushing pretty darn hard too. There we got it. Oh, we're free. All right, on the road, away we go. Well, you wanna know how much of an idiot I am? I didn't bring my other spare, my good spare, my uh, floor jack or my cordless impact, which I have two of, idiot. Um, so we're waiting for Katie to bring some materials. As you can see, we had a tire that didn't make it. We're not that far from home, but still not going to chance it. I can't uh, can't run it on one wheel anyway, especially we got about 15 miles to go. So there's no damn way I'm running it on, on one wheel. So we'll wait for Katie to get here. We'll get that tire off, be ready for her when she gets here, throw the lug nuts on, and away we go. See if we hopefully don't blow another one today. Well, as you can hear, you can probably tell by my ground speed, we're limping on a flat tire. Uh, same tire's gone flat a couple times now. I must have something cutting it down with the weight that's on the trailer. So, instead of trying to make another three and a half miles home, we're gonna go down here a half mile to my buddy's house, my buddy Gary's place, and try to drop this trailer there. Hopefully on the dirt road, I don't pop the other tire on that side. But, we'll see. We can Oof, duh. If we can leave it there, hear that, we're dragging the back bumper in that flat tire. If we can leave it there, we'll be all right. Um, and then we'll get the bales off with the tractor and just shuttle them home. A couple of miles, it's not a big deal. It's been a long damn day, long damn day. But 
that's part of it sometimes, I guess. I could be madder than hell and swearing and cussing and throwing a fit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. So, I guess. Catch up with you guys later. Well, there's that piece of shit. There, at least I know it's somewhere now where nobody's going to steal the hay off of it. Or the damn trailer, for that matter. Fuck, it's almost 9 o'clock. Seven hours. For ten friggin' bales. I'm done with this shit. Oh, well. John, I appreciate you, buddy. Not your issue, good hay. All of that. Something's got to be cutting that tire down. Um, or overheating it or something. The bearing's not hot, so I don't know what the hell. Guess we'll figure it out later. Another challenge in life. I needed more broken shit. You know, I don't ever have enough broken shit. So, anyway, I'm done. I'm just spent. Mentally exhausted. Physically exhausted. Tired of changing fucking tires and all that junk. Well, now that it's daylight out, and I start looking at this tire. I don't, uh, I don't see where it would have cut the sidewall. You know, you can see obviously where it blew out, and I drug it down the road to get off to the shoulder, but it's like the damn thing just gave way right there, right at the belting. <clears throat> Good Monday morning, by the way. Um, 20th of April I guess I get to go to work oh we put the seat up right. there we go um yeah I don't uh, I don't quite get it it looked to me like that tire wasn't in terrible shape but I haven't had the best of luck with these power king tires I can tell you that um I've had problems with them on the cattle trailer too we're blowing the sidewalls out just going down the freaking road no no load on it and those are a different tire than this they're a different size but same brand I think on this implement trailer I'm gonna go back to a 10 fly truck tires the hell with this trailer tire noise because I've been this ain't my first go around with flat tires with this brand and those tires are brand new <sighs> whatever whatever Life's a bitch. Well, good Monday evening, everybody. What should we do today? Just got home from that job thing. Ten after five, quarter after five. I don't know, whatever. One of these days, we're going to have to grade the driveway. Culver's are starting to come back up. Which means it's getting about time to put the back blade on and or get the Adams number three road patrol out the driveway a little bit it's not too bad it's a lot better than it was but it's a little rough from the winter no big deal all right let's get to work well i'm out here in the cow yard finally finishing up cleaning up some of this damn fence and posts and all that junk that i wanted to clean up last fall and never got to because it's windy and a bitch out feel a little bit bad because Katie's over there cleaning up stuff outside. I'm sitting in a nice cab. Heat and all that junk. She's a trooper. She's a real trooper. She's like, what should we do tonight? And I'm like, I don't know, but I'm going to go sit in the tractor where it's warm. <laughs> hey, that pile of shit. It's alright. It's on the other side of the fence. We'll get it cleaned up. I swear to God, someday. Someday, we're just getting it closer. Getting it away from the cattle anyway. That's part of it. We got a lot of projects. All right. Let's pull this post out. We'll get the changle dangle over there and yank that post out of the ground. Why is your finger in the way, Rick? Wait, 
That's what she said. We're gonna leave that one there for the cows to scratch on. I need this one because this one's got this one's pre-set up for a gate. Obviously there's nowhere to put a gate here and I'm too fucking lazy to drill some more holes for another one. <sighs> Alright, well we're filling in post holes with the... Get your finger out of the way, Jesus Christ. That's what she said. Filling these post holes with rocks that are laying around, not that there's any shortage of them goddamn things. Look at that. See that? Oh, come on. Yeah, there. there we go. Look at that. I could have been like a professional or something. There we go. Like it never happened. It's getting to be a lot like work. If I was a good tangle dangle operator, I'd be able to last through that pole and jerk that son of a bitch out of the hole in one swallowed motion. But I'm not. Hell, I tipped the bucket too far. Look at that. Look at that. That's probably me enough of uh, That's probably enough of me yanking my wood. I'll catch back up with you when I finish. Hey, you know what I just realized when you're yanking your wood? If you pull forward and drag it with you. Ah, look at that. You know how I'm gonna do. One unhook and one rehook. That is how you efficiently yank your wood. Okay, bear with me on the wind. So, I took the fucking post auger back off the goddamn tractor and I haven't even had a chance to use it yet. Because, all right, with a three-point bale spear, which is kind of a piece of shit, bring it up by the shop so I can make it work on a fucking tractor. So I can go get the damn bales off the tra the trailer that's at my buddy Gary's house because I got the fucking thing stuck there last night with two flat fucking tires. I told you the thing was buried in a pile of dirt. There 
she is. Well, good Tuesday morning, everybody. Cows look happy. She looks obnoxious. Are you obnoxious? And the cleanup, we're getting there. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Oh, shut up. Fed the baby calf, checked on the cows. Everybody's looking happy. Everybody's looking good. Um, I did get that pin ground on the tail spear last night. Hopefully that fits on there. Maybe I got to take a little bit more down, but it looks pretty close now. Um... Yeah, I didn't get the rest of the final drive tour part on the excavator last night. I talked to Shane and Casey for too many hours and drank too many beers on the phone, so that happens. Good people, good conversation, nothing wrong with that. So, we'll tear that apart tonight. I did get that, uh, yeah, good enough. The hell with it. The hell with it. Tonight we're gonna go get try to get some of my hay off the trailer that's at Gary's house while it's light out. Um hell else are we gonna do tonight? Get the rototeller into the shop so I can get that damn thing running. Get wheels put on it, all that happy fancy shit. Get the garden tilled here in a few days and then you know, uh, start breaking that soil up a little bit. I'm going to till it a couple times before we plant anyway. And I need to run some damn fence. Some electric out there along the swamp because now the cattle are wanting to... The heifer calves like to climb through the damn thing. So we got to get that ran too. Only got so much daylight, but hey, whatever. We'll get the Kubota out hopefully later and run some fence. That's got good enough lights on it. I can work in the dark if I need to. So, off to work for me, guys. If you guys like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, get my notifications. Leave a question or comment below. Stop by on a Wednesday night. 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Time. Bring a cold beverage. Stick around for a little while, stop in and say hi, whatever you got time for. I'd much appreciate it. We'll see you guys again next time.